Good afternoon everyone, this is Beyond here with another edition of the daily market update. Okay, today the euro uh, is trading down slightly. Uh, what is happening is in the market is that the market hit resistance as in indicated by this red line at 134 and is backing off and what you will find normally is that when a market approaches an old high what can happen is that the market backs off a little bit and then tries to take out the high that's yet to, to be seen at this moment but that's what could be happening here in the euro let me just take a recap of what happened last week because we had two very good trades we had one on the second on the 50 minute time frame that the market went up from 132 up to 132.80 that was good for a few pips and you had a pretty big trade when the market came down to support in the 132.60 region and it went up to test resistance at 134 that was good for 140 pips or so so the market is coming down now and as a day trade we entered around the daily S2 pivot point and the trade is currently flat because the market really did not go anywhere today back to the upside so what could happen is that the market may rebound rebound to the north from the 132.90 level we'll just have to wait and see Okay, taking a look at the British pound, what we can see is that the market is facing resistance at this down sloping trend line. As you can see here, is this a good point to go short on the pound? It may be, but I would prefer to go short on one of the British pound crosses, namely the British pound Swiss franc. I see a good opportunity for a short trade here that I am expecting to yield over two or three hundred pips to the downside. So that's what I am expecting over the next couple of days. Now we have a small stop loss above above the resistance, but that's what. This trade could potentially be over three or four to one winner if it if it materializes how I expect it. Uh, looking at the Canadian dollar, we also see that the Canadian dollar is flirting with with trend line support. As you can see the market came down and tested this upsloping trend line we can see it on the, on the four hour time frame the market tested this up to upsloping trend line uh, resistance will be at 10350 the bulls will be more comfortable if we can clear 10350 and support is at 10250 the bears will have the upper hand if if the bear if the market can clear 102.50 so this is the resistance point and down here is support in this market we also have a position on the Canadian position trade on the Canadian dollar and we'll continue to monitor the position 
another one of our positions that are that's doing well is gold we can see that gold has been moving up pretty nicely from the low that was made at 1200 and now the market is just shy of 1350 so that's over 150 dollar move in the market from the low that's what I see from in the currency markets for today for tomorrow I'm expecting in the euro as day traders will have to see if this 132.75 low holds and if it holds we can expect the market to go up if 132.75 is breached we can expect another day down in the euro thank you very much for listening if you'd like to see these trades being performed live you can join me in the trading room and uh, have a happy trading day and profitable so that's the whole point of what we're doing here have a good day thank you